welcome to our channel we're Megan Morgs and today we will be exploring Ella and showing you around. So we got here from Nuara Elia by train and it costed us 300 rupees took about two and a half hours. What I will say if you are planning on doing the train ride yourself definitely get a seat on the left hand side yeah because there's so many more views on that side the first sort of 10 15 minutes it's all on the other but then for literally the other two hours of the journey it's all on the left hand side so definitely do that we are staying in a guest house called top heavens top heavens so it costs us 30 dollars yeah. for four nights with breakfast included so it's three pound each per person per night you can't go wrong can you with breakfast and they all had really good reviews as well so can't go wrong but well, i think in general um ella seems to be quite a cheap place uh -huh. to get um good accommodation uh, from what i saw on booking.com you could get stuff that was cheaper than what we did and you also obviously you could get stuff that's a bit nicer a bit more expensive but yeah from all the places that we've been so far i think ella's the cheapest which is strange really because i thought it would be the most touristy and maybe more expensive with its reputation We've spoken to people who have said like the food and sort of the shops are more expensive so we'll let you know how that goes. Um, but, yeah. but yeah, we've got quite a few things planned here. A couple of hikes and there's a few waterfalls that we might see. Just depends on the weather but we'll Plenty take you activities. along with us. So many activities! We finished the short walk from the train station to our accommodation which was all going well until we realised it was on top of a massive hill. We had a chilled afternoon before going out to Chill Cafe, which we'd really recommend for some dinner if you're in Ella. We then finished the evening playing that traditional game of Karam that our hosts in Dambulla had taught us. This is where we are staying in Ella. It's called Top Heavens and there's a really nice view. Obviously it means not the nicest trek up after dinner in the evening. Especially if you're Morgan and you get indigestion after smelling food. Oh, it's a deep burn! Um, but it was only £2.80 a night Eight. with breakfast. So we had toast, some fried eggs, fruit, tea. So it was pretty good for that cost. I mean, the room's not luxury. You get what you, you, get what you pay for, really. You get so what you pay for. It's got hot water and Wi Fi. And the Wi Fi's really good, actually. And it's got like a bug net. Have they got a toilet? Yeah. Let's go then. Yeah. That's good. Good. You've sold it to me. And bed was pretty comfy, so I mean. It just gives us a bit more flexibility as well to have some more luxurious stuff on the day. Go out for some more expensive meals, maybe take some more tuk tuk rides to places rather than walk in. Yeah. So yeah, there's pros and cons to it, but it's kept our accommodation costs low. Yeah. Don't know if we've mentioned about us having a budget for our time in Sri Lanka yet, um, but our budget here is. £20 per person per day um, and at the moment we've been sticking well under that overall which is good. Yeah it's been good I think we've probably been around probably like 16, 17 on average. Yeah other than the first few nights we stayed in luxury in Colombo but yeah we're doing well with our spends. Today we are walking over to Nine Arch Bridge in Ella so sort of famous bridge with the train going across it um so that should be nice we're just gonna walk from our guest house over yeah. there now and then we'll probably get some lunch when we're out um and then there's a few waterfalls here as well so depends if it starts raining because it's forecasted to and the sky is looking very gray we follow google maps to the start of the nine arch bridge trail which was marked by a large sign at the side of the road we walked through the jungle and saw a dog playing with some monkeys in the forest. After about a half an hour walk from Ella Town, we've made it to the Nine Arches Bridge. It was a pretty easy walk, just um, half of it being on the little jungle track, but it was pretty scenic and yeah, it was like a, half an hour. Yeah, it was a, it was a lovely walk. But as you can see. It's not quite as quiet as you might have seen in all the Instagram pictures and videos. So I probably recommend coming maybe for sunrise or like an early morning type walk just because there's probably about, you know, 150, 200 people here at the moment all trying to get a I would say as well, there's picture. like a certain timetable that trains come and the train's due in like half an hour. So that might be why it's more busy. Um, if that's something that obviously 
you're wanting to see just remember they can be late i mean our train was over an hour late yesterday yeah so just something to think about but yeah so we're probably gonna stick around here and wait until we see um, a train come here she comes <laughs> Goosebumps all over my body. <laughs> After spending some time at Nine Arch Bridge, we headed back to Ella through the jungle and got some lunch at Chill Cafe, where we also made a golden retriever friend. Day two in Ella. We woke up early and we've just come to Little Adam's Peak to start up the hike up to the viewpoint. I think it's going to take us about 45 minutes, an hour, to yeah. get up to the top. That's what they said online but we'll take you along for the walk and let you know along the way. And the views are already good as well. Yeah, they are. So we are just about to start the main ascent. So far it's been relatively flat. That took us about 10 minutes from the main road and we're just about to head up the stairs to the top. But we can see the peak there. So it doesn't look like it would take too long, hopefully. Okay, feels like we're almost there already. The view's getting better and the paths sort of swap from that sort of cobble steps to like a gravel stony track. So in total, I think from the bottom by the roadside, it's taken us about half an hour to get up to the top which is a lot quicker than what we thought, to be honest. And there's a number of different sort of viewpoints once you get up here, so you can sort of get, you know, a different picture or a different angle. Um, the, the main one, if you like, you can get sort of like a 360 degree view across the valley. But as you can see behind us, the, sort of the clouds are rolling in now. So we're just gonna spend some time hopping between the viewpoints, taking some photos and videos before we head back down. So this final viewpoint is particularly steep to get down, so I'm not sure if we fancy that, to be honest. But yeah, that looks like a, a long way down and a long way back up again. If you fancy a bit more of a challenging hike, I would do um, Ella, Ella Rock, which is that one over there. Probably a bit higher, a bit more elevation. I think that should take you probably like an hour, hour and a half, they say. It's probably a bit quieter too. Um, when we were walking up, there was a lot of people coming down because a lot of people do this for sunrise. So obviously it depends if you're happy hiking with lots of people around or if you'd rather do a quieter one. Yeah, this is much easier. There's people with kids up here, older people. We are just heading down from the top. It's a really nice, pretty easy half an hour walk. There's quite a few steps, um, but it's like easy terrain to walk up on. No, I would really recommend it. And yeah. the views that you get for that short length of time yeah. are just really the, nice. It's all about the effort to views ratio, isn't it? Yeah. And for that one, great views and minimal effort. So yeah, like Meg said, definitely come up and do this one. And if you fancy a bit more of a challenge, go over and do um, Ella Rock because that'll probably be a bit quieter. And also, yeah, a bit more of a hike. It's our last day today in Ella, so when we get back, we're going to go have some breakfast and then maybe head out again to uh, see, some see some waterfalls. Um, we just need to figure out the logistics because I don't think they're in sort of walking distance. So we might need to get a tuk tuk. So, as you probably saw, that was a bit of a white knuckle bus ride, but um, it only cost us 67 rupees each. So, barely anything, and we've arrived at Ravana Waterfalls. I think there's a couple of tiers you can walk up, so um, yeah, we'll take you along and see how far we can get up. Morgan trying to climb some rocks. The waterfall was nice, and there's some lo locals sort of swimming in there. But there's not really that much to do here. Not really. So. 
definitely wouldn't pay for like a tuk tuk to get here. It would be a lot, probably. Um, especially as they put all the prices up in Ella compared to sort of the rest of Sri Lanka. That's just as it is so touristy. Um, lots of monkeys running around as well. So there's food stands, but I wouldn't really recommend getting food because they'll just come after you. I mean, if you're stuck for what to do, definitely come. It's nice and you can dip your feet in. And... Yeah. But you just can't get up to the top viewpoints anymore. So. Yeah, I think if you want to go to the top viewpoints, it might be something to do, sort of like come for sunrise or sunset. Yeah. And there won't be sort of like police here, sort of, yeah, patrolling and stopping people from doing it. And also there won't be such a big crowd. We jumped on another packed Sri Lankan bus before walking up the steep slope to our accommodation for what must have felt like the hundredth time. We then went out for some dinner again and met up with the cute golden retriever that we'd seen earlier in the day. So that concludes our time in Ella. We've decided to leave um, a day earlier because we've got an exciting trip down in the south that we'll uh, show you in our next video. So stay, make sure to stay tuned for that. We did really enjoy our time in Ella. I think the main issue was the weather really, but because it is at elevation, um, it's not as warm here. But we hope you've enjoyed this video of our time in Ella and we'll see you down south in Yala National Park. If you've liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.